Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information, including your Maverick Monday information. And uh, hopefully I, have, I think I have a good one for you here today. I found out some uh, information and I kind of want to talk a little bit about some some questions that have been thrown out there and been given to me as well when it comes to some job two changes. And for those that you don't know, what job two is is a job two is is the second part of production. So Ford can't doesn't have uh, something they want to introduce into the model year, but they're not ready at the launch of that model year. They will give it a job two. They'll launch a little bit later when they have it ready. And there's a couple things that uh, were things that they weren't quite ready when it first launched the uh, the 25 model year. And so they had just a three month later delay on some of those things, and those are becoming available in job two very soon. So I'm going to talk about that. Now, before I get any further, don't forget to subscribe, the bell notification turn on so you don't miss any of these Maverick Monday videos or any of our other videos, including our Tuesday night live stream where we take your questions live on the live stream. So come join us on Tuesday night and uh, we can answer any questions you have, whether it be the topic of the night or not. We always open it up for Q&A uh, around that 830 central time zone uh, time frame or so. All right. So let's, uh, let's jump in and talk about this. So the job two for the Maverick it does include a lot of the trailer or uh, information that people have been talking about. I've been talking about a lot. So people have been bringing it up. The pro access uh, backup assist or pro trailer backup assist and pro trailer hitch assist. And I've talked about it in, uh, in the Maverick Monday videos for those that haven't, haven't been watching and follow along uh, that that technology basically just allows you to be able to back up a trailer using a dial. So kind of Ford likes to say it makes you look like a pro, um, but it basically you do have to set that up as you're backing up. So you have to pre-program your trailer and everything in there, put a sticker on it. I don't know, used to be able to have to put a sticker on there. I've never used it. Uh, and trailering, but you should be able to use that dial along with your camera to pretty much you're just steering the trailer and instead of worrying about the steering wheel and the steering wheel is going to turn itself. So that that technology there, plus also the trailer hitch assist. What this is great is, is that it'll ask you as you're backing up or do you have a trailer connected? And you say no, it knows you're wanting to back up to a trailer. So then you you do that and you use that dial to back up your vehicle. Again, it takes care of the steering for you. And then, then it backs you up right to the hitch and, and even stops you right under the hitch, which is kind of cool. I did actually today, I did have to go get the, the trailer winterized and I had to back it up. And I actually did have to get out and go, oh, I'm off just a little bit because the camera, you know, it was pretty good, you know, in the Bronco, but it wasn't quite 100% accurate. I was off just a little bit and I had to kind of pull up a little bit and re-back up just a little bit. So I could see the benefit of the hitch assist. So all those features are going to be part of job two. And because of that, the price will be more expensive on your Lariat and your trimmer. So Lariat, trimmer, and the Lobo will have those features. Lobo price has already been dictated because they knew they weren't going to build any Lobos until job two. So that price didn't get an, it won't get an increase. But on your Lariat and your trimmer, you will see a $300 increase is what I've been told from what they are currently on the website. So actually, we're going to jump over to the website and I want to show you this. So if you go over here, Lariat and trimmer right now, you can see... Uh, starts at uh, the Lariat starts at thirty six eight thirty five, so it'll be three hundred dollars more than that. Thirty seven one thirty five will be the starting price of those because they will, whether you want it or not, they will come with those two features on all your Lariats and your trimmers for job two. So both of those are going to go up uh, just that much. So just so you're you're aware of that. Now anything built before that will be three hundred dollars less, but they will not have your Pro Access um, backup assist and hitch assist. Just so you're aware of that. Now. If you have a vehicle that is in your order bank uh, and it's it's in there now, let's say it doesn't get scheduled. Let's say your dealer is out of allocations and yours didn't get scheduled. It's still sitting in there and uh, then it doesn't get scheduled until next month when job two launches. Then yours will be billed as a job two, but you probably will see your price go up $300 and know you're not going to be price protected. That's job two. Job two changes that and that goes into effect. So just so you're aware of that and how that works. So you could technically probably go ahead and put your order in if a dealer doesn't hasn't used allocations like for us. We still have some allocations left. So if you put an order now and then it gets scheduled, you're not going to have those features. So my what I encourage you to do is wait until after November 1st. Uh, keep updated the first Mon Maverick Monday after November 1st. I think that makes it like the 4th. That's probably about that week or the week prior to that is when those are going to be updated to job two. So I've been told it could be anywhere as early as this Friday 
to as late as this, the first Thursday in November, uh, November 6th, I think. i um, not sure what day that is. So somewhere between the 25th and the 6th is when that order guide will come out. So we don't know. They need, you know, some things need to be uh, hashed out and everything on that. So that's going to take a little time. And I kind of like that they're kind of, you know, you kind of want that to be later anyway. So I kind of want, because that's going to be a February build date for the job twos. So let's wait for those, um, those to get done. That's why probably it'll be more like that November 6th time frame, more than likely. So definitely after November 1st, and most dealerships will have used all their allocations. So at that point, you put that order in, and it's going to be built as a job too. So something else that's on the job too that a lot of people are not talking about that I want to talk about, and that is the Lobo. So Lobo is a job to build. So you'll notice no Lobos have been scheduled yet. Uh, those will be scheduled for those February build dates at the very earliest um, 40,595 starting price kind of for a Lobo 702A. So I'm going to go into this build. I want to show you what I'm talking about here. And for those of you who have been following me and watched all my videos, when I talked about the Lobo trim, I actually kind of quizzed into this and said, or kind of like teased into this, that this will be coming. And there is a 402A Lobo. So there is a cheaper version of of the Lobo available coming as part of job two. So when that comes out, of course, we'll be going over that information, but it's pretty simple, actually. Let me show you something. So if you look at this, Lobo 702A equipment, click on that there, and this is only some of the features here. It will not, so your Lobo 702, 402A will not include some of these features. So actually, since they're not all listed there, let me go over all the things that it won't have. So on the order guide, in fact, I'm probably going to pop up a, a picture of this order guide for you guys. But there is, on the order guide, on the equipment list, there is a column that's grayed out. And then there's a column that has a bunch of eyes in there. Eyes mean they're in, that that's, those features are included in that equipment group. So that means there is a 402A, right, that won't include those features. So some things that you won't have. I like to call the 402A as the Lobo XLT, right? It's going to have XLT type of equipment, whereas Lobo 702A equipment group, that's all your, that's going to be like your uh, Lariat type of features for you. So um, on that kind of thing. But one thing that is really nice is regardless if you get 402A or 702A, you're still going to get those nice leather seats with those nice blue specs in it and the and that Lobo etching and everything. That That's pretty cool. You're going to get that regardless. So antique stitching uh, or unique accent stitching i should say as well as the steering wheel that's going to come on there no matter what uh so some of the things you will not have uh that is part of the 702a and that is the the uh up here it does have the acoustic uh windshield that is part of that's part of 702a will not be on a 402a uh, also your uh ambient lighting will not be part of the the 402a power sliding rear window um let me make sure. Yep, that is going to be not. So again, like an XLT, right? Power slavery windows, a Lariat and Tremor exclusive kind of thing. Be no audio and sound system. It will not have that. So just so you know that, it'll be the standard audio system in the, from the XLT. So you will not have the B&O. You will not have the spray and bed liner. It's what I'm showing in here as well. Uh, so that won't be on there. You won't have the bed tie downs with the locking rails. <clears throat> you won't... Um, Something else, you won't have the outlets and the outlet in the bed. You will not have heated seats or heated steering wheel. It will not come with the moonroof, uh, and uh, it will not come with the wireless charging pad, uh, as well as illuminated visors. Let's see if I miss. Oh, it says floor liners, too. So I believe you're not going to have those features uh, in there. Oh, navigation. It says a one-year navigation connect and have. And dual zone climate, so you won't have those. Oh, and then more importantly, it will not have your adaptive cruise control. Again, just like, like I'm saying, 702A, that's the Lariat equipment. So it will not have adaptive cruise with lane centering or the speed sign recognition, productive speed assist, whatever you want to call it. 360-degree camera as well will not be included. Front sensors won't be included or your reverse brake assist. So those are some, some of the features that will not be included. Again, a lot more than what's listed here. Um, but that's a great way. $5,000 saves you. Uh, on that. So if you're somebody out there like, I don't need the adaptive cruiser, whatever, but I really like the Lobo. I want, uh, I want a Lobo, but man, I can't, I can't afford it at $40,000. Well, just wait when job two order bank comes out the first of November, uh, you, we will see a 402, a version of the Lobo that is going to be more affordable. It's going to come in at $35,000, maybe 35, one somewhere around there. 
you know, lower 35 before destination delivery, of course. So that's a little bit easier to swallow, right? Than that. So that's going to come in lower and cheaper than your Lariat trim, right? Looking at Lariat, it's 36.8. So you're going to be about $1,800 lower than the Lariat trim level. Not too bad. And so that would be another version of the Lobo. So I wanted to kind of let people know that if you're, you know, hey, I'm waiting, hey, maybe I'd like a logo, Lobo, but I don't, I don't need all that fancy Lariat equipment. There you go. Uh, Lobo 402A is coming. And if you're wanting one of those, you can put in an order for one as well. And uh, you can put one in with us if you want to. So anyway, so hopefully uh, this information was uh, very helpful for you. And I'm kind of excited. Job 2 is getting really close. I'm waiting for that to launch. But I would wait for you. Uh, if you're looking for a Job 2 and you're wanting the trailer hitch assist features and those uh, those trailer features, don't order yet. Um, and a lot of people have said, well, Tim, they had a price increase. So what about that? I don't know if you remember, but that price increase was, was for the 24 model year, not the 25 model year. 25 model year has not had a price increase. So you will not be $100 more. So some people had actually posted that in the Maverick Truck Club. And no, it won't be $400 now. It'll still be $300 because the price increase is for a 24 model year. And if you had a 24 model year and you're waiting for it to show up, you're not getting that price increase. At least you better not. Your dealership better not be pricing it up because there's price protection on that. So as long as you ordered before that, and they didn't increase the price until production and scheduling was all done for 24 model year, which really means the only people that are affected from the price increase for that 24 model year are people that wanting to buy a stock vehicle because they will be a hundred dollars more uh, per each trim level on a one on the dealer lot right now. So that'd be the only people that really would, would see that effect. So anyway, that's all I have for this uh, episode. I hope you guys um, are having a great Maverick Monday and um, we're looking forward to job two. It's coming real soon before we know it. Hey, we might even be next week. We might even be talking about job two information, um, which I pretty much have told you right now. So I'm getting you a little early access on that, that uh, really nobody's talking about out there. So I'm uh, looking forward to that, that Lobo 402 a version. Uh, so people can see it really shouldn't look any different than that the Lobo 702A, because when you look at some of those things, those are all just like some convenience features. Uh, the camera, you won't see those cameras on there and all that. Um, also, that 402A will not get your Pro Trailer Hitch Assist or Backup Assist. Uh, to get that, you have to have the 360 camera. So that's that's why Lariat, Trimmer, and the 702A will have that. That 402A will not have that as well. So that's something else to, to note there. Um, so most of it, though, um, probably won't be able to tell the difference in looking at it other than those cameras on there. Most of it's some interior features, uh, you know, B and O, the dual zone climate, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, most of this is not visually going to change the look of the vehicle on the outside. Some people actually might like this because you don't have to worry about the moonroof either. Um, power sliding rear window, I guess you will have a fixed glass in the back, but otherwise it won't look too much different than a 702A and have a cool looking and a great performing lowered Maverick going to, and, and saving yourself $5,000. So I'm going on and on, uh, but I am excited. Hopefully you guys see that as well. And hopefully uh, you guys are too. So uh, hopefully we'll gonna talk more about it either next week or the week after uh, when job two comes out for the Ford Maverick. Until then, stay positive, be kind to of one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you on the next video.